Hey guys, American Chip here on a tutorial on how to get freedom, which is basically cracking in-app purchases. I'm going to teach you guys how to get it work because I've seen um, people that just can't seem to get it to work. So what you're going to want to do is first go into settings, go into security, and check unknown sources. This may be in another place for your phone, but for the Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean ROM, it's in the security settings. Check that off, and that basically lets you install apps from other places besides the Play Store. And then you're going to want to download the Freedom APK. So what you want to do is go to Google.com. And then hide. And then what the? Oh my goodness! My goodness! Okay. And then you're gonna want to search up freedom. Apk. Search that up, and it should be the first one. And click on it. System. In. Dash. App. Store. Com. And you download it right there. You can copy and paste the link, or just open it. And then after you downloaded it, open up the app. Or install it first and then open it. Oh, crashed on me. Oh, crashed on me again. Oh yeah, forgot. It's gonna say freedom isn't available in your country. That means that your date and time isn't compatible with freedom. So what you're gonna want to do is go into your clock or wherever your date and time settings is. Go in date and time. Take off automatic date and time and automatic time zone. Select time zone, and you're going to want to select Moscow, because that's where the creator is from, so you need it on Moscow time. you see now my, chain, my time changed to 3.17 a.m., and now you can go into Freedom with no problems. Mine loaded up quickly because I only have two apps. And another thing, if you, um, what's it called, if you just installed the app, just leave the app alone for like five minutes. Once you press the app, like if you go, if you press the app, it's going to say, please wait. It's going to ask for a super user, grant it. And then it's going to take like five or six minutes because it has to like mess around with the binary final files and stuff. So just leave it alone and make sure the screen doesn't turn off. Anyways, after that, you will see that. Um, Freedom does do OTA updates just to like get the newest things, but there is an issue. Freedom d is not compatible with the new Play Store. So once you change the date and time, you're gonna get one of two things. You're either gonna get no connection, which is probably gonna happen to me. All right, so I have connection right now. But the next time you reboot your phone and you're still on Moscow time, it's gonna say no connection. And that's gonna like mess up everything because even when you it's because the date and time is incorrect, so it's gonna say no connection. Even when you do change it back to normal time, it's still gonna say no connection, which is really annoying. So, what you're gonna do is go into to fix the no connection problem. You have to where is it? You have to go on the Play Store, download Root Explorer. And you can also download like ES File Explorer, but I prefer Root Explorer. I just like it better. It is, um, you do have to pay for it. I think it's $5. I'm not sure. I'll check on that. But anyways, after you download Root Explorer, you're going to want to hurry up and install. 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 Okay, now it installed. You're going to want to... Go all the way into root and go to the etc folder, and it's gonna be called hosts. It's literally just gonna be hosts. It's gonna be in the root. Go into etc, and it's gonna be called host. To fix the no connection problem, you just delete it, and then it fixed that no connection problem. And then after that. You have to go into Application Manager and go into, oh wait, it's also in the downloaded. Go into Google Play Store and 
uninstall updates because um, Freedom isn't compatible with the new Play Store. So once you uninstall the Play Store, it goes back to the original design. Well, the original sort of design, which is this look. And then you'll notice that um, Freedom is compatible with it. Except... Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to check that off. Whatever. I can do that another time. Alright, it crashed on me, of course. No connect. Oh, see? See? No connection. Stupid thing. It's because I didn't delete the stupid host file. Hold on. Once you delete the host file, where's Root Explorer? Okay. Once you delete the... Even to prove it, to prove it to you guys, I will... Where's host? Where's host? Oh, it's, I'm not in the ETC folder. Alright. Instead of deleting it, what I do is, just in case something does go wrong, I choose... Uh, where is it? Where is it? I choose... What the freak is it? Oh, zip this file. And then... See? It tells you where it's zipped. Stay. And you might have to reboot for this to work, because it basically takes away the IP addresses that Google Play works off of. And it makes it work, like without, with the different day and time. Go to Play Store. See, fixed it. Bam. That's all you have to do to get um, Freedom to work. You download it, grant super user, uninstall the updates to Google Play, and that's it. You don't really have to reboot the phone after you put a whole stop the host file like delete it or anything that's all it requires anyways thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time